Hi guys, Borgio here with my Temple of the Faceless solo guide for Chains of Eternity. So let's get to it, shall we? First thing you'll notice when you zone in, this is uh, in, um, well, what used to be the Temple of Kazakh Thul inside the Firot, but whatever it is in here. I've gone in as my Zerk again just really easily. You just want to clear through this trash as quickly as possible because it's, yeah, it's just in the way. Um, there's a few bosses in here which have a few quirky mechanics on solo. They're generally not too hard, but um, on a group they add more mechanics. But coming up here first, you, you want to go either way. It doesn't make a difference, but I go left. Kill everything on the way to a couple of rooms on the outside. Now, the first boss is on is wandering this, this bottom area, but he's wandering near the back. So we'll just continue around. There's a, an entry to our left, as you might see coming up here. I'll try to indicate there really quickly. Inside there is a pillar. Now, you can either run in there and kill everything in the room and kill it, or just do as I'm about to do, which is just range it down. It's so much easier. Just just kill it with range. You don't have to worry about the mobs inside. Um, although, there's the boss there, wandering at the top. Occasionally, they might add when you fight the second boss, but as a berserker, I don't generally give a damn. Um, so, it's fine, but the boss is there, wandering about. And as you can see, he's got a buff there, which means he takes no damage, basically. And the way to get rid of it is there's pillars. There's one here and one in exactly the same place on the other side. You just need to kill it. It's got a health bar at the bottom. There you go. Pretty much one shot with your bow. Um, I, I avoid as many mobs as possible. And that is only because I know that if they add on the second fight, which is coming up, um, I can use them to heal with or AoE or whatever. So but if you want to clear everything, clear everything, feel free. You know... You, this stuff is still tied to trash drops. Technically, you could get trash drops off this. I haven't yet, but it's the same random drops you might get off a, just a mob in the world. So. Let's kill second pillar. It's dead. If we find the boss now... Uh, where has he gone? Where has he gone? He's, uh, there he is, over there. The buff's gone, so we can now kill the boss. This boss um, doesn't do anything remotely exciting. It's tank and spank in solo. In the group zone, it will put up a curse, which is a constant power drain on someone, but it's uncurable. But you'll, when I do my instance guide, my full group guide, you'll see that. But for now, just burn him down as quickly as possible, as easily, painlessly as possible. Um, if you've got any of the red clickies, feel free to use them, but, you know, it's not required. I tend to save them for last bosses just to get it done. So he's nearly dead. There we go. We'll grab whatever crap was in the chest. If I can... Eventually, oh, I'm rooted. Right, there you go, he roots occasionally, which is really, really boring. Now, there's two ways up the top. Once you've killed the boss, either way, um, there's an, a teleporter on my left here. You might have just seen it. There's one the same the other side. Just kill the pack that's next to it. The monkeys will add on the second fight. So if you don't want adds, kill all the monkeys that are on the bottom floor. There's these two here. There's one next to these to the right, as we're looking now. There's three the other opposite side, as the mirror of the instance looks. And there is also one just sat in a bush, which you'll need to look for. But I don't mind about ads, so what we go. Up here, you will always port to the same side, so turn left. Kill any monkeys on the way down here. Should be a few, I'll just sort of AoE on the spot. Not too hard, these monkeys. I mean, they don't, they don't do anything exciting. These instances on solo generally don't do anything exciting, guys. So, just feel... Keep going. Keep smacking them. On whatever tune you're on, bring a Merc. Whatever. Go as a duo, actually. The best thing to do with these solo instances is to do it as a duo, guys. Because not only do you get the added bonus of another player helping you through it, you both get your own loot off the last boss. So, that don't do them solo if somebody else is doing them. Just join up. Um, I've lost a bit of health, and I've noticed it's due to the fact that I don't actually have my Blood Frenzy buff on, so that's up now. I couldn't understand why I was losing so much health, but I didn't have my self-heal up on hit. I've got it up now. Kill this Wanderer. This Wanderer might be somewhere along this platform, um, leading down to the second boss, so look for him. But there's the second boss, Giant Gorilla. His hitbox is huge. You could pretty much melee him from just about where I'm stood now, but I run down to him because that's... Well, in a group, you, if you're the tank, you're going to run down to him and spin him. So, If you've left anything, you're going to get it to add. Now, what this guy does is it's pretty similar on both difficulties. Um, as you burn him... There, I've got some adds now. As you burn him, when you get him to 15%, he will stop taking all damage and heal back up to 50. And then from then on, it's just a straight burn. Back down to dead. Um, 
I've seen reports that he does a, he does a big attack, but I've never seen it um, whenever I've done this. So, yeah, just, just deal with it. If you've killed all the monkeys, you just have him to deal with. You'll soon see his mechanic. What I try to do on this run is I use a clicky item when he gets under 30 to try and kill him straight out. It doesn't work. He sits, there you go. I've used it there. He sits on zero. So I, I'll, I'll deal with all the ads I've left, which is quite a few. And as soon as he's attackable, there you go. He's up to 50. We'll just burn him down again. Um, for an AoE class like a Berserker, this is quite quite good, considering every mob that hits me has a chance to heal me for 4% of my health. Um, for anybody else, you probably want to clear these off to make it less painless, or just bring bring a friend. It's just a lot quicker. Um, the main point of these solo instances, I imagine, is just getting them to get the loot done. Really. So I've, kill, I've killed the big one already. Just finish off the ads. There we go. Right click. Right click. Right click to loot. And that's good. I use the red item. I get another one. Um, I, get, I ignore the shinies because, like I said in my previous video, shinies inside instances only really give you house items and stuff. So it's not worth it. Right. When you come up to this circular room here, there'll be a wanderer in the corridor. This is both on the solo instance and in the group. So just be aware. You, you can avoid it, but your group, if uh, you're in a group, will probably end up running into it. So just finish it off. The next boss is already in the next room. Now, in the solo instance, this guy is laughable. In the group instance, it's slightly more varied. Um, however, what I'll do here is I will I will just pull all the packs at once in here. There's four packs of three mobs each. They're all downs. Dead easy. Just kill them all first, because if you do take a while over the boss, he will do his mechanic. The boss is that big slime you would have just seen at the back there. He, he ports. That's his main mechanic. He'll port to the different circles on the floor. And then he might do a mechanic. I've never had him port is the solo instance so I can't tell you what mechanics he might have after that he is so weak he is extremely laughable I've managed to kill this guy before ports on my inquisitor healer I imagine templars might have more of a trouble but yeah he'll port to any of these circles on the floor you're seeing here but just observe see how quickly he goes down he it, it's crazy he's just really either under tuned or I'm not sure but yeah he's dead already it's nothing Right, final boss, turn around, right around. In fact, if you're doing the quest line, there is a, a staff that spawns just sort of to the right there. Swim down here. Now, if you are not a class that can take a hit or kill very quickly, you are going to want to kill all the gazers on this floor. The reason being, when you pull the last boss, just the gazers, which are these things here, not the sort of spirit things, these, the gazers will add on the fight. Now, if you're a class like a berserker, where you can take a hit, and the more adds you have, the more healing you get, just ignore them. Run like I'm running now and run around them. If you're a high DPS class, I mean, I'm on my Assassin, I'm on my Beast Lord, I can kill the boss before all the ads come in. So if you're doing a lot of damage, don't worry about killing all these ads or just get to the top. You ha you can loot the chest and evac out quickly. Or you can click the, the portal to get out. But if you can't, kill those gazers um, and then pull the boss. Right, the boss is coming. Our old standby boss for the Temple of Fear, as you might have seen. It's Venica. How unusual. Um, attacks on solo mode. I don't, I've never seen anything remotely interesting. I've heard some, some chat about the fact that you can do a, a deep breath attack on solo. I know that's in the instance, but um, apparently it might be in the group zone too. Well, we'll see about that. As you can see, I've used a clicky item on him. Let's just kill him quickly. Here come the gazers. Um, so I tend to save most AoEs, but now there's more coming in. You know, hit a few more AEs. I might even hit Battle Frenzy. I I will hit Battle Frenzy at some point. Or will I? But yeah, you see the boss is dead. So at this point you could quickly loot. If you kill faster than a Berserker. Could loot, loot the body, loot the chest and teleport out. Evac out. Um, me, I'll just sit here and just kill them all quickly. It's no skin. Honestly guys, these instances aren't hard. This Berserker is not geared in raid gear. He is just geared in a lot of crafted stuff. Um, no, I got some food and an earring. Joy. So that is the ru the rough guide. Click the click the door, takes you straight back to the entrance, and then you can click on your way out. Hope you enjoyed this guide, people. Um, check out my other guides on my channel. Rate, subscribe, definitely. There are more content coming. Um, hopefully on a weekly basis. Group guides to come. Any suggestions for further guides for other quests? Please drop me a line. Thanks very much.